I don't really feel comfortable putting 265 pounds of this sexual chocolate out on the ice. Pop, lock, and drop it, all right? When your minnow is dancing and going crazy. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is John. Welcome back to another episode of Tackle Box Tuesday. Today, we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're not inside the tackle box. We, uh, we actually going to cover the minnow bucket. One of my favorite baits to fish with are minnows. And uh, you got to have something to put the minnows in. So here's my minnow bucket. I'm going to take a little bit, of, a little bit of time and tell you guys all about the minnow bucket, why they're good to have, and why I like to have them. All right, so cool. So uh, I just ordered this from Bash, from Bass Pro Shop. No, they did not sponsor this video. Bass Pro Shop, if you watch it, holla at your boy. Um, <clears throat> but I ordered this from Bass Pro. Uh, just came in the mail. That Arctic Vortex just came through. I'm here in Southwest Ohio. I can't go out and fish. Everywhere is covered with ice. I do not ice fish. Uh, I might one day. But I don't really feel comfortable putting 265 pounds of this sexual chocolate out on the ice. So... I can't really fish much, but what I can do is clean out the garage, organize my fishing stuff, and get shipped uh, fishing items and tackle to the house and hope that my wife don't complain about it. But she shouldn't because she orders stuff all the time. I don't say nothing. So, yeah, this just came in the mail. All right, you guys. Um, when I was a kid, I had a minnow bucket like this. Well, I'm an adult, and I still use this minnow bucket a lot. Um, and there's nothing wrong with a regular, just, you know, $2.99, $3.99 uh, minnow bucket. It still still gets the job done. But I'll tell you guys why I don't use this as often compared to a nicer insulated uh, minnow bucket. Uh, so let me just take you guys back down memory lane. I used to fish with my Uncle Pumpkin and my Uncle Guy all the time growing up. Um, and we would go out catch crappie, bluegill. Uh, but as I started getting older, my patience got a little better. We went, we would go out fishing for crappie and we would always stop at the bait store and pick up some minnows. You order a dozen, they always give you more than a dozen. If you're, pause, pause. If your bait shop gives you 12 minnows and you pay for a dozen, I'd consider a new bait shop. All right, that's just all I'm saying. So I remember I would, you know, we would, we would take a bucket like this get some minnows, we go out, catch fish for about an hour or two and call it a day. <clears throat> All right, so as I got older, uh, I realized this bucket is good for about an hour or two, if that's it, unless it's cold out. And I'll tell you why. All right, guys, uh, so this little bucket is not insulated. It definitely does the job. It holds minnows. It holds water, it holds minnows. But if you're out fishing, if you're, you're out hardcore fishing and you're out in that sun for a few hours and you gotta bounce around different spots, uh, and you don't have any oxygen in here, that sun will heat this little bucket up so fast, you will look down in your bucket, open it up, and you will see all your minnows floating in some cloudy water instantly. You will say, what happened to all my minnows? They're all dead. It happens all the time. Um, so, yeah, so there's nothing wrong with a bucket like this. If it's cold outside, you don't have nothing to worry about. Fish, these minnows can stay alive when it's cold out for days actually weeks. I'll tell you about that in the next video. Um, but in the summertime, they don't stand a chance. They do not stand a chance. Uh, so you want to get you a bucket like this, something that's insulated. Can you guys see down in there? Something that's insulated with this styrofoam, uh, and this will allow your minnows and your bait fish to stay alive a lot longer. All right, this bucket is a 1.3 gallon, so that's a pretty decent size. My buddy Fishing Barrett, uh, I think he uses a bucket like this, and he fishes with some pretty big bait. Um, he'll take them out of his cooler, put them in here, go catch huge catfish. So, yeah, if they hold, you know, perch and bluegill and uh, creek chubs and stuff like that, there's plenty of room for your basic crappie or bass minnows, as we call them in Ohio. All right, so fast forward. Of course, I got the bucket. But now, here's the most important piece. Here's, here's the aerator. This is the oxygen. This is what will keep your minnows flipping and dancing. This is what keeps them kicking. In fact, if you have a good aerator, and basically, okay, if you don't know what, what an aerator is, let me break it down for you guys. Uh, it's bubbles. 
all right? It's the oxygen. Uh, battery goes in there. You flip on the on switch and bubbles just start going crazy. And that allows the fish to thrive and really, really be healthy. And you want a healthy uh, minnow. So what a healthy minnow does, he you just saw a minute ago how I was doing that little, that little dance move like that. That's what the minnow does. You want him kicking, flipping, and everything else in between. Pop, lock, and drop it, all right? When your minnow is dancing and going crazy, it gets the attention of those fish. And they'll be like, oh, what's this little thing doing? They'll come, whoosh, they'll come eat it. So that's what you want. If you do not have an uh, aerator and it's hot out, your minnows are either going to die or they're going to be so exhausted by the time you cast them out, they're not kicking and flipping and dancing and doing all that. They're just they're, they're looking like they're about to die. And if a fish really isn't that excited for what's going on with that party, he will just pass it up. All right, so you definitely want to keep some, some, some oxygen. All right, so the cool thing about these aerators are they come in all different sizes. Uh, you can get them as cheap as four or five bucks, and I've seen them as expensive as 50, 60, 70, 80, keep going up. All right, um, so let me show you guys the difference real quick. So here's one of those little cheap ones. It definitely gets the job done. In fact, these little $5 aerators... I got them in all my vehicles, and uh, they take AA batteries, and they're perfect for these little red metal buckets. I used to have a little clip. What happened? It broke off. See what happens? You buy a cheap bucket. Well, I used to have a little clip. Boom. Goes like that. This goes down in there. Cut on the on switch, and this little bucket that I was just dissing will outperform a lot of uh, a lot of other buckets that don't have these little aerators. So they're, they're, they only run for about eight hours, which is plenty of time if you're going fishing for a, a short trip. Um, but moving on to a little bigger one, this aerator is bigger and it will run for 16 hours and it will attach itself to the back of here like that, like so, and then get yeah, put it in there. So you guys, this is my metal bucket. Thanks for staying around and watching uh, Tackle Box Tuesdays. I was going to say something. Yeah. Uh, man, keep an aerator. So many times I've been fishing, like I said, with me and my partner fishing fresh. We've been out there catching fish. He was like, hey, J-Rock, grab me a minnow. I look down. I'm like, they're all dead. I'm like, what? We just got them. Then we get mad at the bait shop that we bought them from. Definitely not fishermen headquarters. Those men will stay alive for weeks. I'll tell you about that later. But we'll get mad if we're out of town at the bait shop. We stopped and be saying, we aren't getting no minnows from there. It's really not the bait shop's fault. It's absolutely not the bait shop's fault. Uh, but yeah, keep some air with it and you'll be straight to go. So I appreciate you guys. Remember, get you a minnow bucket. Fish with minnows. They're great. Damn, I broke it. Uh, get you a minnow bucket, fish with minnows, and stick around for the next episode of Tackle Box Tuesdays, and we'll cover some more items. If you guys like what you've seen, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Please share with a friend. Stay safe. Uh, God, family, fishing, you guys know what it is. Bang bros, baby. Yeah! <laughs>